All right, I'm Mark Humbert here with Nolly Bateman, and uh, this is common running mistakes today. So today we're going to be talking about um, some of the the common issues that people have, some of the mistakes that they make um, when trying to work through plantar fasciitis. Uh, put that in quotes. Check out our earlier video, earlier video, um, or or other foot and ankle pain. And so one of the biggest things, and this is what I hear, we hear all the time, right? Is yeah, it's been bothering me, but like. I just been stretching the heck out of it, or I got one of those balls and I've just been like rolling it all over that all, all day. And, and I mean, and then we ask, well, you feel like it's been helping? Well, no, but I mean, like, that's what X, Y, Z told me that's to do. That's what you're supposed to do. Right? That's what you're supposed to do. Um, the problem with that is that we're adding stress to an already overstressed system, right? Um, we've overloaded the tissues. And if we're just cranking on that, um, then we're just adding more stress to that, right? We're not putting the proper type of load on it that we need to. And so um, that's that's one of the big, big first big mistakes. The second mistake is that you just stop running. And I can't tell you how many times we've heard the phrase, oh, I went to see this person and they told me not to run. Or they told me, you know, maybe your running days are over, try switching to this, right? do some water aerobics or, or go on the cycle. Which it kind of makes sense because you stop running and the pain goes away, right? But then what happens when you start running again? Right. It comes right back and sometimes even worse. Yeah. And so this is the pattern that we see, right? Is that instead of just getting better and better, right? And being able to handle more and more, you know, in terms of intensity, in terms of duration, in terms of frequency of exercise, it just ends up kind of staying at baseline, right? Uh, you rest, it feels better. And then I, I start again and then it hurts. And you rest and it feels better. And I start again and it hurts. And so you just never get off of this like <laughs> bottom level plateau. Um, and, and so if we totally stop activity, again, it's not addressing the root causes. And so while it makes sense that they might tell you, yeah, switch to this activity or this activity. Um, if we don't address the root causes, then it might not be the same injury but those training mistakes will follow us through whatever sport we choose because it's not the sport that's doing it. It's that we haven't given our bodies enough time to adapt and we haven't loaded them in the proper way. Um, and so if we neglect those and we neglect, neglect looking at the core problems and the core processes that drive those problems, um, which typically is, you know, either, um, you know, often weakness in the hips or in, in foot strength, um, it might be uh, an issue of running mechanics. If we're not looking at those and considering you as a whole person, um, then we miss a lot. And so that's one big thing to do. Any provider that you're going to go to, you need to make sure that they're taking a look at not just the, the specific areas, but they're also taking that 30,000 foot view. Um, and they're not just treating you as an ankle or a knee or a hip, but they're treating you as a human being who has <laughs> joints and, and, and muscles that work in coordination to keep you moving. Um, and so that's a big mistake is not considering those things, just isolating and focusing in too narrowly on, on one area without considering considering what could be the driving factors of, of those problems. Right. It's all connected. We got Cameron behind the camera over here doing like plantar and soleus exercises. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. <laughs> uh, but something that I want to bring up, uh, something that we have is the light speed treadmill. Um, I know we've brought this up in previous episodes and some of you guys probably know what it is, but if you don't know what it is, what it is, is it's basically this big metal contraption that we put over a treadmill and we uh, put some funny shorts on you <laughs> and then we the hook part. you up to this contraption and it unweights you so you can run on the treadmill uh, without as much weight. So um, again, we've already mentioned this, but with this kind of pain, you want to back off on the load and the intensity. So the light speed lift is something that's awesome. So you can continue to run, but without as much load. It's something that I used, um, during my hundred mile training, I was, um, suffering from, man, suffering makes it sound like I was suffering, <laughs> <laughs> um, but I had, um, some plantar pain, some Achilles pain. And by running on the light speed left, I was able to get rid of that pain really fast and get strong enough for my race. And we've had a ton of clients use that to um, rehab themselves and get ready for their races. So um, that's something that we have that's really awesome. And then there's lots of other things you can do to back off from the intensity of the load, just, you know, running less and not running as hard. So. Right. But keep 
running. We can't emphasize that enough. Keep running. That is the thing, right? Because we can do things to modify that load, change it so that your body has a chance to adapt. But keep keep running, right? That's our motto here. Motto here is, is keeping runners on the road. Um, definitely check out our keeping runners on the road series. Um, a lot of great tips in, in there for that. But that's what we want you to do: keep running, keep healthy. Um, you know, avoid stretching that and and load it and strengthen it. That's that's our big tips for the day. So those are the common mistakes that people make, and and we want to be aware of those so that we can do things to change those and and make the right choices that will keep uh, keep us running, keep us healthy, keep us happy. So um, thanks for joining us today. Remember to like, follow, subscribe, all that good stuff. There's probably one of the words that I've forgotten there, but uh, yeah, follow, follow, share, 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 share. yeah, share that with a friend. There you go. Um, anyway, like I said, thanks for joining us, and we'll catch you on the next episode.